Revenge films. I was being extremely harassed by my mother-in-law, and I couldn't take it anymore. So we held a family meeting about it, and there I exposed all of the countless harassment my mother-in-law had done to me. My mother-in-law's harassment for me would begin as soon as I came home from a full day of work. She would force me to do all of the cleaning and the chores that she had piled up since that morning. I was working part-time at a cafe from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., but because it was a hospitality job. I would be standing up at a cafe all day, and by the time I got home, my legs would be swollen. But my mother-in-law knew what time I would be done with my shift, and then she would call me on her phone and tell me to come to her house straight away. And if I didn't, then for about a week after that, she would relentlessly attack me over the phone. My mother-in-law seemed bad at cleaning up after herself, and apparently their house was a disaster for years. Right after I got married, I was going over to their house to help clean up out of kindness, but my mother-in-law seemed to take a liking to that usefulness of mine, and she started using me in any way that she could. My mother-in-law seemed to think that it was fine for her to not do any cleaning, and she wouldn't hesitate to make her own house messy. She wouldn't even clean the plates that she used, so all of the dishes from the morning and afternoon were piled up in the sink. She also included anything that she used to cook, so the kitchen sink would be full but she would make me clean all of that. Not only would she physically use me, around that time, I would finish my shift at work. She would call me and send me out to do all kinds of shopping. Of course, she didn't give me any money for that, so I would have to front all of those payments. But even when I went to deliver it to their house, my mother-in-law wouldn't give me any money for that. That being said, the same thing would happen multiple times and I was forced to pay a lot of unnecessary expenses. When I calculated it on household expenses, I saw that I was spending almost $500 a month on my mother-in-law. That's why I didn't mind going to do the shopping. But I asked my mother-in-law to at least pay, but then she was furious. Are you so poor that you can't even pay for this little bit of shopping? That's your own fault. You should be saving more. If anything, in reality, you should be sending money to our house. I'm just tolerating your contribution just with the groceries. And she would yell at me. When I told my husband and my father-in-law that this was a crystal clear case of harassment by my mother-in-law, she would put on a weak voice and completely deny all of it. She insisted that she's never harassed her daughter-in-law and on top of that, she claimed that she never made me do any cleaning or shopping and that sometimes perhaps she was a bit more harsh with me, but that was only because she was giving me advice for my sake and that she wasn't trying to harass me in any way. She even had tears in her eyes. The times that my mother-in-law would use me in this way would always be when her husband and his father were at work. So, she must have thought that if she put on a good act, she would be able to get away with it. When my husband heard that, I thought that's what it must be. My mom is just trying to give you a little bit of advice. You're just taking it too personally, alright? Well then, this conversation is solved. It sounded like a joke to me, and I was furious. Excuse me? Uh, uh, are you kidding me? Even my parents are being laughed at. When we first got married, I told my parents that my mother-in-law might hate me, and they went out of their way to send expensive meats, produce, and fresh seafood so that your mother might like me. But your mom, after eating all of that, she laughed at my face and said how shameful my parents are that they were trying to buy her with gifts. I don't care what she says about me, but I won't let you talk about my parents like that. I said that with a serious voice, and my husband's jaw dropped. And then I turned to my mother-in-law and said, I thought you might say that, so I made sure to have plenty of evidence to regard this. Right here. When I said that, suddenly my mother-in-law started shaking. How dare you record all that! You need to give me that right now! I'm going to delete it! Hand it over! She then lunged at me and tried to grab it by force. That was when my husband and his father stepped in, and while my mother-in-law was throwing a tantrum, they pulled her away from me. That was when I instructed my husband and his father to go into the trash room in the back of the house. That room was notoriously a mountain of trash that my mother-in-law had left piling up for more than 20 years. There were piles of broken electronics, cutlery, plates, and an unimaginable amount of trash. But all of that was gone, and the back room was sparkling clean. My husband and his father were both astonished. Isn't it amazing? It's gotten really clean, hasn't it? That's because I cleaned all this room up by myself. And that's because I was locked in here by your mother-in-law so that I could only throw things out the window, and she refused to let me out until the entire room is clean. What?! My mother-in-law tried to deny it. So, I didn't hesitate to pull out the recording device from earlier and press play. Suddenly, my voice started streaming from the recorder, screaming and banging on the door, begging to be let out of the room. Ma'am, please let me out of here! I can't breathe! If you clean that room down to every last corner, then I'll let you out. Once I see all of the trash piled together by the front door, I'll let you out once you're finished with that. 
every last speck, and you're going to throw it all away. But it's impossible! Please, let me out! This room is locked by a padlock and a key, so no matter how much you try to bang on the door, you're not going to be able to get out. <laughs> Good luck! When my husband and his father heard the recording, they both went completely pale. After I was locked into that room, I couldn't eat, drink water, or even use the toilet. All I could do was clean up, as I was forced to do, and I cleaned like my life depended on it. After that, I had to make many trips to the trash collection site because of it so much. Isn't that right, ma'am? But then, my mother-in-law started to sway from side to side as she collapsed on the sofa and said to me, You're saying such nonsense that you're now making me feel sick. Oh my, is that so? Isn't it funny? You seem to always feel sick whenever you're forced me to do some kind of impossible task. You're such an annoying little girl. You're the one that married into this family, so it's your duty to do exactly as I say, as the matriarchy of this household. What? Oh, well then, I'm happy to quit being married into this family. Then I don't have to listen to what you told me what to do, is that right? When I said that, my in-laws were shocked, but my husband panicked the most. What are you saying? That's not something you could joke around about! Joke around? Do you really think I'm joking about this? I'm trying to make things work in our household with such a low salary. Yet I'm being forced to spend 400 to 500 on things that don't even involve us. And the cherry on top? I'm being held hostage and forced to clean 20 years worth of trash. I would be much better off getting a divorce. Either you cut off all ties with your mother or we get a divorce. Why don't you make the decision? Those are my last words as I walked out of the house and didn't go back home but instead went to my parents' place. To be honest, if it meant spending the rest of my life with that mother-in-law, I thought it would definitely be better to just get a divorce from my husband, and I asked my parents to let me stay at their house for an indefinite period. But then, the next day, my husband came crying to my parents' house. I'm going to cut off all ties with my mother, so please come home! I didn't know that she was harassing you that much! I'm sorry that I wasn't able to defend you! My husband got down on his knees to apologize to me, but... Are you really going to cut off all ties with her? If I go back and nothing has changed, then there's no way I'm putting myself back into that. My husband said he hadn't cut off all ties with his father, but that he very clearly declared that he wasn't going to be seeing his mother anymore and cutting off all ties with her. I honestly didn't think that he would throw away his mother and choose me, so I was a little bit surprised. But he did say that I wouldn't have to see my mother-in-law's face ever again, and my parents also agreed, and I went back with my husband. It turned out that after my mother-in-law was cornered by both my husband and his father, I was wondering why our finances were always so scarce. I had no idea that they were all going towards you. And plus, I can't believe that you held her hostage. If you had taken one step in the wrong direction, that would have been a crime. It's exactly as our son says. Even though I'm giving you plenty of money to live off of from my own salary, why on earth are you also taking money from your own son's household? I just wanted a little bit of allowance to use freely myself. What's so wrong with getting a little bit of allowance from my son and his wife? I was also wondering why the house was so clean lately. I thought that you had a change of heart, but you were making our daughter-in-law do it all? Unbelievable! Get out! Don't ever come back to this house! My mother-in-law was kicked out of the house by her husband and her son. And so, not only did her own son cut off all ties with her, but her husband also kicked her out. After that, my husband's parents did in fact get a divorce. I'm sure she never could have imagined that by harassing me, her own daughter-in-law, that she herself would end up getting a divorce. She had nowhere to go after that. I'm sure there's a possibility that she might be homeless, but she did all of this to herself. For the record, apparently my mother-in-law loved to gamble, and with the extra money that she got, she was spending it all on a casino. My husband and I were almost in danger of getting a divorce, so I was honestly shocked that my in-laws were the ones that got a divorce. But when I thought about that I wouldn't have to deal with my mother-in-law ever again, to be honest, I was happy. My husband stayed true to his word, not only that, but he started to help out with cleaning and doing groceries, and was very proactive about asking me if I needed help with anything. I had kept my mouth shut and tolerated it until then, but I do think it was a good thing that something inside of me snapped and I opened up about it. It seems my husband speaks to his father from time to time on the phone, and perhaps because he has his own guilt towards me, he never suggests that we go back to the house. But now that my father-in-law is also by himself, I told him a couple of times a week I would be happy to help out with dinner and cleaning his house, and my father-in-law was happy and very grateful. If my mother-in-law had just been a little bit more grateful, perhaps her life could have been much different, but that's not my business anymore. How was today's video? 
If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.